<laughs> Good morning. Byron's bouncing around on his newfound toy. We've turned the whole studio into Santa's grotto this morning. Byron and I, Woo! as you can see, are very excited. I'm being more contained this morning. I'm trying to be the sensible one. As it's time now for our Christmas toy review. And you'll also see here big smiles and smart uniforms. We've got four experts. We have indeed. Uh, we have got eight-year-old Harry Sherrindon, who joins me here. We've got Georgina Yates. We've got Aravid Mani. And we have got uh, Leah Griffin over there. So hey! good. Girls over here, boys over here. Let's rock and roll. Yeah, OK, so you've not bought uh, toys for your kids just yet and they're around this age. You're all between 9 and 10, is that right? Yeah. 9 and 10, here's some ideas. I'll tell you what they like and what they don't like. Do you want to start with the boys? Yeah, because well, what we thought we'd, we'd do is pick out a favourite toy, uh, why they like it, uh, we'll look at the prices and stuff and then look at the rubbish toys, perhaps a bit of a waste of money. Harry, what's your favourite? What you picked out first, mate? Well, there's zero gravity cars because it can go up walls and it might encourage people to try and make stuff that can do the same. Ah, <laughs> right, so you think it might be a bit inspirational to perhaps come up with something that could be also be gravity-defying, like Spider-Man. Yes, sort of. <laughs> He's real. <laughs> He's, he's a bit silly, he's isn't well, he, Harry? Yes. Well, Sometimes a little bit silly. Harry, that car is 29 99 Do you think it's expensive? Should I just hold it up so just so the camera's For zero see. gravity, I think it's quite a good price. For ze you know what, right? I think that's the important words there. Zero and gravity. I think that's what makes it probably a little bit more worthwhile. Is that going to go on your list to Santa, Harry? Hopefully. Yep. Excellent. Excellent. Um, a last-minute addition. Do you want to go for one of the girls? Yeah, let's start with Leah. Now, uh, the girls that I, I asked them to pick out yeah, their right. favourites. One, and uh, they've come up with two or three greedy guts. We'll start with you, Leah. What have you picked out? Um... Do you want me to give you a hand with the heavy? What's that one? Well, it's a stick insect kit. Yeah. And you buy the stick insects from the pet shop. OK. And then you put them in the big box there and you can watch them grow. So this comes with it as well? Yeah. Not and real you... stick insects. Yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah, but you don't get the stick insects in the kit, no. do you, Leah? Oh. That's no. what we need to point out. So if your children like the sound of this, you need to go to the pet shop as well, don't you? Yeah. And what, what appeals to you about seeing them wander around in here? Well, the Vikings had one in their house and it, looked, it was really good because we watched them grow and everything. Excellent. So you're into nature and science? Yeah. Excellent. Good girl. You also liked this just quickly as well. Kind of speaks for itself. Clapperboard. Filmmaker in the making, me thinks. It's going to go on your list of Santa? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, let's come back to our event then. Uh, you've gone for an old school favourite there, mate. What have you got there? I've got Cluedo here, which, because I like mysteries, and I think Cluedo is because I like um, solving mysteries, so I thought Cluedo might be perfect. So are you a young Sherlock Holmes in the making? I thought so. I knew there was something about you, my friend. That th now, I, now, Cluedo is an old favourite. It's been, it's been popular for generations and generations. Now, I've reason to believe that it's been updated, uh, made a little bit more modern. So, whereas the, the house is probably a little bit more open plan, you know, a little bit more <laughs> bijou and compact. They've probably got a couple of cars parked outside, man, you know what I mean? Um, and it has all the usual suspects, um, but, and one of the hosts has been killed. So, Scarlet, with, was it, uh, see, see this, is, this is what I'm talking about talking about new additions they got dumbbells whereas before no it used to way. be the candlestick or maybe even the rope now they're using dumbbells in the spa no way how, how, how modern is that do you, so uh, are you in so you like you like board games you don't think they're boring you think they, they still keep their coolness yes would you play that with your family as well Aravin? because I know you've got a little sister don't you? she might be a tiny a little bit small to play that but would you play it with mum and dad and relatives yes. that come round Excellent. Get you all together and playing games. Excellent choice. Now, Georgina, you've picked out a couple, haven't you? What's your very favourite? Uh, the Aww. Sean the Sheep. Why do you like him? Because he's nice and cuddly and he makes a noise. He makes a noise? Let's see if we can hear it at home. What do you do? Uh, you press his mouth and he... bows. Aww. <laughs> you might like that. Parents might find it a little bit annoying after a while. <laughs> Um, OK, very nice. I saw you were cuddling as well. Can I have a little snuggle? Oh, he's lovely. Feels good. Let's have another squidge so you can hear. Interesting. There you Fantastic. go. You can keep hold of him. And you picked another one as well, didn't you? He likes a board game. What's this um, one? Never heard of this. It's called Picturica. Yeah. And um, what you do is I think you pick up a card and you turn the... Excuse me. <laughs> Pardon me. You knew I shouldn't have had beans for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I think... You get a card, 
<laughs> and you turn over the some. Oh, right, so you spot things off the little card. To find on, out, on the big like, card. Because on the television it says, like, um, smelly things, and someone pointed it at a sock. Oh, okay. Um, so you've got oh, to find see. them on here um, once you've found a clue or something, like a. Yeah. A right. task to do on your yeah. cards. That sounds good. And do you like the idea of gays because it involves the whole family? Something to do on yeah. Christmas Day and beyond. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Let's right. pop those back in there. I'll come back over to the boys now. Uh, and fellas, let's get down to perhaps some of the, some of these toys that may be a bit of a waste of money. Uh, Harry, what do you think we could do without? This Winnie the Pooh Club because it's mainly it's for four years and under and people aren't going to buy them and they're not going to know um, what to do with them with it and they're just going to be mithering the mums and dads and see, <laughs> asking what does that say? What do you mither your mum and dad? A bit. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> now, I, I, I think Harry brings up an interesting point here because this is obviously a, a sort of Winnie the Pooh clock um, but, and it's for four and under or four plus and at that age they probably don't know the time. So what's the point? Oh, thinking of the parents as well being mithered on Christmas Day. He's Very a good considerate lad. of you. Right, we haven't got a lot of time, so should we skip, oh, skip over to another one you don't like over well, there? Well, do you know what? My girls are so lovely that they didn't get around to picking one they didn't like because, like myself, they're very greedy and they liked them all. Well, I know Aravid has. And what have you got there, mate? What do you don't? What don't you like? I've got the CD about Christmas and I picked it because I generally don't like watching TV. Do you don't like watching TV? Not much. Because You're too busy playing mysteries. games. You're too busy yes. solving crimes, aren't you? Yes. You're out on the streets with your giant magnifying glass and your bloodhound dog. Yes. And I know you. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Harry. Guys, thank that. you very much for joining us. We're back again tomorrow morning. We're going to play some more. We've got lots to play with. So, um, we've got loads of toys, haven't we? There's we a fantastic have. selection. My favourite, if anyone's on interested, is that one. Log on to the website. All the details of everything that's featured here will be on channelm.co.uk. Back. See you tomorrow. Bye.